Welcome to the Take a Listing Today podcast, where our hosts, Jim Studebaker and Todd Robertson, give you strategies to get you out of the office right now so you can take a new listing today. And now, here's Jim and Todd. Hello, here we are, coming to you from the warm, comfy lodge here. We've got the fire going, a nice wow. Christmas tree up. I'm Jim, and there's Todd. And over here, our wonderful producer, Lisa Gray, in her VIP suites. Once again, good. not at the lodge, not at the beach. Somebody's got to stay behind and run the show. She's got to run the technical. Where's my fireplace? Right. Where's next year, I'm going to consider that. Next year, you yeah. give me like a little butane, butane can. <laughs> butane? What's that? Butane? Butane. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Butane cat. Yes. Having trouble getting that. Hot dog. All right. Well, she's hitting the holiday punch already. But anyway, <laughs> we've got a, a wonderful uh, show for you. Lisa has a, a great program that's going to really help out all of the real estate professionals out there today. So on today's show. Oh, hey, whoa, oh, wait a minute. Hey, 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 oh, my gosh, it's so good. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Hey, Santa Claus! How are you? Good to see you! Good. What a nice hey. surprise! What a nice surprise! I know you! Yes. I know him! How, Hello! How, how did you know we've all been extra good this year? Oh, because you three are my favorite elves in the world, of course! Oh. I had to come surprise you Being with a gift. Called an elf? I don't know about that, but what's in the oh, bag? We got some gifts. Oh, hey, huh? oh, of course, an elf. The famous. Well, childlike quality. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh, Jim. Wait, wait, it's one gift between the three oh, of us? It's for all three. Okay, you okay. open it do you up. want honors? Oh. We should have Lisa. Lisa, you should, have Lisa. Lisa. you should do the honors. Absolutely. Okay. Let's see what this oh, is the, here. Oh, this could be good. I'm Thank so you, Santa. I'm so excited. Yeah, this might be good. It's a ticket oh. out of here. No. <laughs> hey, just what we've all wanted, actually. <laughs> a ticket out. <laughs> it's a gift for everyone. It's a gift that keeps on giving. No, it's a, a $100 Prospects Plus gift cards. The three of you. Wow. Just what I wanted. A gift card to prospectsplus.com. You know what? <laughs> what? This I this has triggered an interesting idea. What if for today's show, we scrap the show. We'll, we'll do it next week. Okay. And we just call out to our customers and give these away. <laughs> to people who are I doing like postcards. Uh, yes, the to idea. people that are doing postcards. It's the season with us. of giving, right? Let's do that. Three $100 will go to three... Real estate agents during that the show. That is a great Love idea. It. Yeah. Yes. Where's the, where's the postcards we actually pick from? Well, here's what we were going to do later on in the show. There you go. Yeah, see yeah, it there, right there. How about you do the honors? You want to pick out three or four or five of those? And, uh, so these are the postcards that current customers at Prospects Plus are getting ready. They're sending out marketing. Sending this is out. marketing going out. These are going you out through grab Prospects those from Plus the print today. Shop. Yes. Okay. But Santa, you're looking good. Your belt, especially. <laughs> but you're looking great. Yeah, you're on the last rung there, but that's okay. Oh, I know you're feeling great. You've been traveling and everything. I know. Uh, that's, you you know, you've been on a weight loss plan too, that? haven't you? Where is that belt by the end of Christmas? Is it around your ankle? Uh, it's a little bit, you know, touching the floor, but yeah. yeah it's no. like a hula hoop. You've got to save room right. for the milk and cookies and all the houses you the go to. The elves can make good toys, but they can't really make good clothes. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 oh, I that explains it all right oh, there. Boy. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. So, pick okay. out five. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. First one. So these are our customers doing campaigns and postcards. Yeah. Right from the print shop. They're going okay. out today. So these are extras. Actually two. All right. All two. There's two. Right. Excellent. And they're on the, the good list, not the naughty Absolutely. list. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. All these ones. Because he knows. You know what? If they're our customer, they're yeah. on the they're, If they're the doing good some list. marketing, the they're ones, on the good yes. list. The ones on the right. naughty list, they don't not come marketing. Yep. Here's another one. Okay, oh, that looks like a nice one, Santa. Uh, Thank you. Got a good one for me, Santa. Facing foreclosure. Okay, happy topic there. Good job. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Yeah, number four. So number four. Sooner, that's a good one. <laughs> what else we got? One more. <laughs> you know, I'm excited to get on the phone and talk to these customers to find Three out. Tips for <laughs> staging your own. Um, yeah, that's a good why one. <laughs> they're why they're marketing right now. Right? We know we know why. Right. I want to hear their story. Hey, exactly. To reinforce. When the average agent is. Paralyzed or hitting the pause button, yeah. these guys are going strong. Or hitting the champagne button. Yeah. Right. Santa, thank you for visiting. This is a special treat. First time Absolutely. in our in our history of podcasts that we've had Santa come you know in. What? Such Don't, a famous person. I was yeah, thinking that's great. this is such a fun day for the customers that are gonna get called, but what about all the people listening right now? I feel bad for them. They don't get a present. 
Well, mm. if you comment right now, ho, 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 to your favorite Santa, we will send you a $25 gift card. So you mean if they are listening on iTunes or somewhere to our podcast or they're on YouTube, as long as they go to the YouTube channel and comment under today's show. Nice. Ho, 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 I love you, Santa. They get a $25 gift card for Prospect. So everybody wins today. Everybody wins. Wow. What do they win if they say, ho, 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 I love Jim and Todd? Yeah. Nothing. Uh, Nothing. (laughs) (laughs) What about ho, 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 I love Lisa? They get the... $25 Twenty-five dollar gift card. <laughs> okay, so I'm equal oh, to Santa. Santa has a favorite yes. here, doesn't he? Yeah, Santa's mm. playing. Well, said. All right. <laughs> well, okay. Well, thank you so much. For thank you for being Santa. 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 Even though we have a woman on the We love you, Santa. Thanks for coming over. We love you, Santa. Santa. Love you, Santa. You. You're looking good. Love you. You're looking good. Stay in shape. Stay Absolutely. in shape. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, keep those extra pounds off. Yeah, good extra, job, extra calories in the evening, maybe. Go back for seconds. I can't believe he had time to visit us. That was. A nice treat, you well, guys. Well, it's because he doesn't eat very much, so he has some extra time, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> that belt was almost well. down, down around his legs. Well, the real Santa, if I remember from the Rudolph movie, <laughs> right. is skinny right up until the night that he's right. flying out. Remember, all oh, of a sudden he gets fat. That's so right. And then all of a sudden he's following the real He pulls tradition. up that one night. So. <laughs> Within five seconds, suddenly huge. <laughs> right, right. Well, the milk and cookies from all the all houses right. starting to uh, accumulate. Yeah. All right, well, that was fun. We have five people here, so let's do that. Why don't we just call some people and... Uh, Lisa, are you ready? Who we got there, Todd? Well, we have Mary Jarrett, who's coming to us from um, Elevate Louisville Group. Her name is Mary. The phone number is 502-922-922. Six four two eight. Mary. Three fall tips for staging your home to sell. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. That's great. What did that one real staging tell was us? good, right? They got an extra yeah. twenty or forty thousand just from yeah, staging. Yeah, staging. Yeah, that was unbelievable. Hi, Mr. Oh, here we go. Hello. Oh. Is, is this Mary? Hi. Mary, how are you? This is. I'm good. How are you? This is Caitlin. I work with Mary. Oh, Hi. good. Hi, Caitlin. Well, this is Jim and Todd and Lisa. We're calling from the Take a Listing Today podcast. We're on the air because we've got this postcard here that Mary mailed out from our friends over at prospectsplus.com. You probably did this if you're if you're an assistant. Uh, I have not. No. Okay. okay. Well, she's, so. yeah, she sent out a postcard here. Three fall tips for staging a home to sell. Since you're on her team, we're going to give you a chance to win because she was picked out of a group of our customers marketing during December. And we have a $100 gift card. And um, so we just wanted to congratulate uh, Mary and you as the team for marketing. What are you guys doing in December right now when the average agent is 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 kind of paralyzed or trying to save money? What are you guys doing to stir things up? Um, you know, we do a lot of things to try to keep our current and past clients um, active and kind of top of mind. Um, we're actually, yesterday and today, we're writing handwritten note cards to them um, for the holidays. So nice. sending them out to us. Um, and we'll probably be holding a photo shoot with Santa um, towards the middle of the month. Wow. wow. That's, that is that is. You guys are on fire I then. It. I love it. So you're not... And you're not in party shutdown shutdown mode until January. You're still in work mode. No, absolutely All right. not. That's absolutely smart. Absolutely not. You, most agents come into December, they're halfway through, they say, all right, we're done. But not you guys. You guys are still getting that, at it. That's impressive. You guys have stuff scheduled the whole month uh, to stay in touch, to make it fun, to you know get exposure out there. Mary's going to be very surprised. We're going to give you a chance to answer this question and win the $100 gift card that you guys as a team can use for almost anything on Prospects Plus website. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Oh, goodness. I hope I get it right. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, today today is our Christmas show, so all of our questions have to do with Christmas. So right. hopefully that will make it a little easier for you. Put your thank you cap on. There's $100 on the line. You're going to make Mary very, very happy. Jim, what is the question today? And, and we're going to tell her that you need a raise if you get this right. Yes. <laughs> You, tell her that you'd like 50 of the $100. She can still spend 50 yeah. on the website and give you 50 <laughs> That seems fair, right? Yeah. All right. What, fair. what I'm going to do is read a question and give you three possible answers. Just tell me the correct answer. Ready to go? I am. All right. Here's your question. 
One in three men wait until Christmas Eve to do what? <laughs> is it? Yeah. Is it A, mail Christmas cards? <laughs> That's funny. B, get their food for Christmas. Or C, do their Christmas shopping. Should be all of the above, I think. I think mail, mail makes sense. It, why not, you know? There's the, not a D option of all of the above. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, though. She clearly as a man in her as, life. As, as Todd and I represent uh, men, I think there should be a D. Yeah, there that should probably be correct, because we're but, guilty uh, of all of them. But. but whoever wrote this question did come up with just one answer. Which one do you think would be the most accurate? For $100 on anything for marketing. Shop. Shop. Shopping? Final answer? Yeah. All right. That is. Show me Christmas shopping. Yes, that Yay! is it. Christmas shopping. Oh. Are you kidding me? That is not a lie. Todd, what do we win today? <laughs> you know what? You're going to get more than so. First of all, you guys get a $100 gift card for virtually anything on Prospects Plus website and some swag from our Take a Listen Today podcast a shirt and a mug. Um, thank you for picking up and, and you know what keep up the great work because your competition is not doing what you guys are doing keep that momentum I love to hear that yeah and don't feel like you have to share all this stuff with Mary if you want to it's fine but <laughs> keep it for yourself if you want to <laughs> Well, thank you all, and all have right. a happy holiday. Thank you. Same happy to you. Happy holidays to you. Bye bye. We'll send everything over in an email. Thank you. <laughs> all right, that was impressive. What they're doing? That is impressive. You know what? Because they're they're staying at it and yeah. and going full board. And, and look at that. Mary's at out prospecting, and she's got a team in doing some handwritten. Right. Mm -hmm. Which Dean Jackson years ago, when he was asked what's the best form of marketing. And he said it's the handwritten note, yeah, which nobody takes the time to do. So that's cool to hear. That was very cool. All right. Well, you know what? We're just giving away stuff here today. So let's uh, call somebody else. Well, you know what I like about this show is not only are we giving away stuff right. via Santa um, or, in, or in proxy for Santa, uh, is that we also get to talk to agents and find out what they're doing right now. I mean, we can see the marketing right. pieces they're sending out. But the idea to have a photo shoot with Santa, I and mean, that's just a little bit extra. Right. They're also writing handwritten notes. So not only are they sending out direct mail. Correct. They're also doing handwritten notes, and they're also doing a photo shoot with Santa. And that's just off the top of her head. She talked about those right. things. What is your January going to look like? Incredible. How is your phone going to be ringing in January? You know, right. Versus somebody who's... Um, Laying on the couch, passed out with a champagne bottle in their hand. <laughs> <laughs> so. Do you speak from experience? What, 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 where'd you come up with that? I've yeah. only read about yeah. it online. Uh, those Wisconsin parties, mm -hmm. I think. Yep. Yep. No, champagne bottle and cheese. Cheese. Yeah, that's <laughs> <it. laughs> <Just eat cheese. laughs> All right. So we picked our next postcard, and thank you, Santa, for giving us. Oh, beautiful. We're gonna call it Dean. All right. And Dean can be reached on his cell at. Oh, he's Florida. Two three nine. Two three nine three five six three five six zero two eight zero. He's with EXP Realty. All right. Right down the road from us, a little south. Fully renovated home, pool, large entertainment. So he's promoting a great listing here. That's a nice looking house right there. Yeah. Good yard. Hello, this is Dean. Dean, this is Jim and Todd and Lisa with the Take a Listing Today podcast. We're calling you on behalf of ProspectsPlus.com because you mailed out a postcard with those guys. Remember I doing did, that? I did. For Whiskey I Creek sure in Fort Myers. So you're live on our podcast right now. We wanted to call. We're doing our Christmas show. And beautiful okay. card, by the way. We wanted to ask you about your campaign and give you a chance to win $100 for just about anything on our website. Sound good? Sure. <laughs> so I love the card, by the way, and I love the timing because of the competition. So the one I'm looking at says fully renovated pool home with large entertainment. It's panoramic with some photos on the back. Well done card. Lisa, take mm -hmm. a look at this. Mm -hmm. um, is that a Thank campaign you. that you're doing? And what made you choose that? Is that uh, um, one postcard or do you have other campaigns in place as well? Uh, well, I actually, this is the second postcard I've done for this specific listing. I initially sent out postcards, but there were the small ones, I think like four by six. Right. Uh, about three or four months ago, um, we just happened, had really bad luck with this particular home because of Ian. We, had, we ended up having it on the contract twice, actually. Are you serious? And, oh, uh, oh, the as, storm, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ian really did a damage to damage uh, to communities, but also in people's mindsets. Mm, and thankfully, okay. this house 
Yeah, this house did not get affected at all. Uh, there was no flooding. There was minor damage to the lanai screens that were torn because of all the, um, you know, the wind uh, and stuff. Yep. Right, right. The wind and all that. But it was a total of like three thousand dollars of the damages that it got fixed within a week. Yeah. But people's perception of the hurricane really changed, and uh, you know, a lot of people backed out of deal. Right. Um, so, so with this postcard, I made I I, I used the bigger one, the mm-hmm. biggest ones you guys have. And I really just wanted to, you know, get it out to the uh, to neighbors and show them that, you know, hey, this property's back in the market. Uh, it's got a new price on it, and here are the specs on it. Um, and it, it's really unlike no other property in the community because the pool is bigger than the house. Oh wow! Uh, the the wow. lanai the lanai area I should say is bigger than the house. It's like twenty five hundred square feet, and this house. Oh, that's incredible! Uh, Nineteen hundred something square feet. Wow. Well, you you certainly highlighted that on this postcard. I mean, using the panoramic was a really smart move because it is undeniable. When I look at this card and I look at the outdoor kitchen and the the pool area with the jacuzzi and then this kitchen, um, the indoor kitchen is stunning. And you can really see it all on a panoramic card. So great job. That's a good size, too, because it's, uh, what, 11 inches by five and a half. So it's going to stick out from the other mail in the mailbox. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It is. And, you know, I, I typically only order the four by six, but, you know, I, I get mail, every, you know, just like everybody else. And I started getting a couple of these in my mail and they immediately were an eyesore. So I said, you know what? I'm going to send out the bigger one. Uh, it gets more attention in yeah, eyesore. <laughs> yeah, if it's worked on me, it's got to work on other people. You know? That's right. Yep, it's, a, it's, yep. a, it's a positive eyesore, in other words. Yes. Right. Exactly. Yep. Well, Dean, yeah. that's a great that's a great story. Uh, good luck on selling your listing. I'm sure it will it will go quickly. And uh, today is our Christmas show, our Christmas podcast, and we have some Christmas trivia questions that we would like to ask you. And if you get one oh, right, boy. we will give you a one hundred dollar gift card for almost anything on prospectsplus.com. So you can use that on your, on your next mailing. Awesome. Let's let's uh, give it a try. Let's do it. All right. How many ghosts are there in the story A Christmas Carol? Is it A, three ghosts, B, four ghosts, or C, five ghosts? Oh, boy. I don't know. I love A Christmas Carol. I'm going to go with you. Which one are we going with, Dean? $100, Dean. A, the first one. So so three ghosts? Three three ghosts. Three ghosts. All right. Show me three ghosts. Did he get it? What? Was it five? It had to be five. The correct answer is four. Oh. I was thinking about that. You know, I just watched that the other day. You, you know what it past, is? Past, present, future, but we're missing Past, one. present, future, and then you got the ghost that came at the beginning of the show that oh, said, you will be haunted by three that's ghosts. That's his partner. Yeah, he was a ghost. Yeah, that's the trick. Uh, that's that's the you know what? One I say we give Dean another wow. shot. Yeah. That didn't seem unfair, like a fair question, unfair right? Unfair practices. Dean, uh, Lisa and I lobbied for you for another question. Jim, be good to oh, him. I don't know how you can be unfair at Christmas, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll do another one here, Dean. All right. Next question. What is Ralphie's little brother's name? Oh my gosh. In the movie. <laughs> he had a brother? A Christmas story. <laughs> of course he had a brother. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen that show, Dean, right? A Christmas story. If you story. ask me what he yeah. dressed up as in the, that yeah. costume, wife, I would remember. My wife makes me watch it every year. All right. Well, oh, then you should know this. So it is, is the brother's name A, Ronnie, B, Randy, or C, Reggie? Ronnie, Randy, or Reggie? It's Ronnie. It's Ronnie. Oh, Ronnie. He sounds confident. Be All good right. to him. Show me Ronnie. Oh, my gosh. You would have loved that. You would have loved the gift card and everything oh, that came with it. Well, you're not going to have a good Christmas. It's Randy, isn't it? It is Randy, yes. You know what? Let's give him. It's yes, Randy. He, he said, no, he said Randy. I didn't hear Ronnie. Did you hear I Randy? I heard Randy. I heard Randy. You guys heard Randy? Randy. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You win. Oh, oh, great job, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Todd, was Dean win? Dean, you're in for a treat. You get a $100 gift card. Good for just about anything on Prospects Plus website. And some swag from our Take a Listing Today podcast. So keep up the great work. Uh, keep your marketing, your postcards look incredible. If you need help, reach out to us. We are your resource, okay? Sounds good. Thank you, guys. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Dean. Have a great holiday. Thank you. Bye. All right. Maybe I was, you know, my hearing is kind of, kind of bad there. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't know. We've talked to you about that. Right. Ronnie, right. Randy. Yeah. Right. It's... 
Whatever. It was all good. So we have two winners so far. We have one more <laughs> one to more. give away. Let's, one more let's, winner. Let's keep going. We still have some cards Ooh. here. Uh, is this uh, is this uh, Dean? Nope, that's not. Where I have Dean, Dean over go? here. Oh, you got Dean? And okay, you've good. got Caitlin over there, yes. right? Okay, we're going to call Sybil at 919. All right. 280-8951. Sybil. Hers is a very simple, nice postcard. A great uh, smiling photo. Selling. The photo is, is really a lot. You it know? is. Yeah. It needs to be bigger. I love her smile, but it's too much background wasted space. Yeah. Sybil. Hello. Hello. Sybil, can you hear us? <coughs> yes, I can. Hey, Sybil, this is Jim and Todd and Lisa with the Take a Listing Today podcast. We're calling on behalf of Prospects Plus. They gave us a postcard that you mailed out recently talking about selling a home and learning how prices are set. Yes. Uh-huh. It looks incredible. So you're live on our podcast right now. So we wanted to congratulate you and ask you about your postcard campaign. And then since it's our Christmas show, uh, give you a chance to win $100 uh, to about anything on our website. Sound good? Okay, yeah, it does. Thank you. You're welcome. So your postcard, by the way, love your smile and photo on the back. Um, is this a, can <laughs> a, 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 it's really nice, by the way, it makes, it makes it, uh, seriously, when you look at that, it puts people in a good mood. You're it approachable really with a picture like approachable, that. Approachable, yeah. Uh -huh. Um, oh, thank you. Is, is, is this a campaign or was this a one-time mailer? And and it sounds like you're doing some mailing during December when a lot of realtors are are putting the brakes on. True. Um, yes, actually, this is a this is a campaign. Um, I am prospecting. I'm I'm farming my sphere of influence. So uh, okay, that's All what right. this campaign is for. So yes, just keep it in touch. And I've actually um, sold. Um, a couple of houses from from this campaign. Oh, wow. top of mine, and that you know, well done. My business is repeat, so that's what I'm you know using this for. So I'm hoping the beginning of the year to start a um, an additional farm. I call that my um, sphere of influence farm. But I'm going to start a, a, a basically a geographical farm, and I want to use um, you all for that as well. So, so if you nice. get a chance in, in the next few days, just as a resource, when you go to our website, hit products, go down to Market Dominator and see if that is a fit for what you're going to be doing in terms of a the type of campaign. Right. So see if that's a fit or okay. not. But that's where we use Every Door Direct, and that's our only exclusive product. So, so just check that out and see if that fits into what you're doing. Okay. I, I will. Thank you. Let's give Sybil a chance to win $100 because yes. she needs it for her marketing that she's going to be doing coming up real soon. Yeah, her upcoming campaigns. Exactly, yeah. exactly. All right. <laughs> and she picked up the phone and most realtors don't. Yep. She did. So <laughs> She's on a roll. <laughs> You're doing a lot of things right. A lot of things it's a great right. day. It's a great day at our Christmas show it to is have our, you on, Sybil. This it, is nice. It is our Christmas show, Thank Sybil. You. So uh, our question today is Christmas related. So hopefully that will make it nice and easy so we can get you a gift card. Please. All right. Okay. Here we go. Put your thinking cap on. And the question is as follows. Okay. I'm going to read you the question, Sybil, and three possible answers. Just tell me what answer you think is correct. Okay. Here is your question. What country started the tradition of putting up a Christmas tree? Was it A, Austria, B, Poland, or C, Germany? That doesn't seem fair, does it, Lisa? <laughs> Oh God! I mean, this, that, this is Austria. it. This is not easy. I'm gonna go with uh, Poland. Go with Poland? You know that's as good a guess as mine because I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> and mine. <laughs> All right, show me Poland. Be good to her. <laughs> Oh, oh Simo, not, you, you would have loved the gift Poland. card and all the all the <laughs> well, Christmas so stuff. much for your marketing. No, <laughs> we're, we're, we're just kidding. The correct no. answer was Germany. Yeah, I don't know why the, okay. all that Santa Claus okay. stuff is I Germany. To think about Lisa this. brought up a good point. Okay. She said Sybil's been a good sport. Let's give her another chance. It's Christmas. Yeah. Let's not uh, let now her know. Now this time we'll ask a good question, not a stupid one. <laughs> correct. Okay. Wow. Wow. Lisa's being a little Grinchy, so close to <laughs> Grinchy. Grinchy's here. <laughs> wow. Hey, I'm. On Sybil's team. All right. <laughs> I'm playing yeah, on I, need, team. I need I need I need it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sybil, here is your next question. You're gonna get this one. According okay. to the song, what was the gift 
on the eighth day of Christmas? Oh, that's easy. Was so it well. A, eight pipers piping, <laughs> B, eight maids a milking, or C, eight ladies dancing? I, 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 you guys are getting me every time. It's got to be. I'm getting Come all on. confused. A is eight pipers piping. For some reason, <laughs> be, that made Lisa laugh. I don't be, know why that is. Be good to her. Be good to her. All right, show me those pipers piping. Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> Another stupid question. You know, I, I honestly, I know that what song, was the answer? but to break it apart, there's no way I would remember what right, it was. Right, me neither. Eight maids a milking Lisa, is the correct if answer. Had, if you had said eight maids a milking or... Seven swans are swimming, or six pipers piping. Then I would have guessed the first one. But the question wasn't made what? for you. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Because <laughs> I would just guess the one that's the eight. <laughs> no, come on, it's our Christmas show. Okay, we don't normally do this. We're breaking a lot of rules because you're charming, Sybil. <laughs> okay. Oh well, thank you. We're not going to let you go without uh, winning. Sybil, I, I got a good feeling about this one. It's Christmas, so uh, hopefully this one is easier for you. Are you ready? Easier for all of okay. us. The entire planet. The entire yes. planet? One that maybe somebody on the all planet right. can answer. Let's find one that somebody <laughs> right. on the planet can answer. Here we are. What company was the first to use Santa Claus in its advertising? Was it A, Coca-Cola, B, Macy's, or C, Walmart? Well, it's not going to be Walmart because it's not as old of a company. Right. So it's either Macy's or... Uh, I'm going to say A. Macy's. Oh, I'm thinking that's what I I'm would thinking think. I'm thinking Coca-Cola's Macy's older. Macy's has been around forever. Coca-Cola's been, been around longer, you know, right? They, and there's a lot of old nostalgia with... Sybil, you must be really confused because we got Todd and Lacey here arguing about what the right answer is. <laughs> right, because we can't see it. <laughs> Which one is it? Which one is it? Sybil, Sybil, I, I, you got this. I always thought it was Coca-Cola. I thought that's how he got the red okay, suit was yeah. from the red okay, band and... Coca-Cola. You want to go Coca-Cola? Yeah. If, if I'm right, yeah. I get half. Is that fair? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Be good to her. All right. Show me Coca-Cola. Hey! Yay! There we go. Yay! All right. Todd, what a Sybil win today. Sybil, you're in for a treat. You win a $100 gift card to just about anything on Prospects Plus website and some swag okay. from our show. Take a listing today. So thanks. Oh, yeah. Thanks for picking yeah. up. Congratulations. Yay, Yay Sybil. Oh, yes. Go, you. Sybil. You guys, you're Thank best. you. Keep up the great work, and we're all on Team Sybil now. You've got yes. three more fans, okay? Yeah, that's right. Happy holidays, yes, Sybil. Yes. Happy gonna, holidays to you guys. I'll email Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll email you your gift card. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Take care, Sybil. Oh, she was uh, she was fun. Nice. Wonderful. Yeah, Coca Cola. Would I think you want to sell or buy a whole right? That was, she, she's a the, pleasure. A, she's very charming. She's a Lisa, go ahead. Go ahead and send her the whole thing. And I'll, she, I'll, I'll, I'll get my half somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take a T-shirt. Don't as, worry about him. As yeah. though I would do it any other way. <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't do that anyway, would she? <laughs> no. All right. Are we calling more people, or was that it? Three. Oh, that's it. We had three. We had three. So three. All we right. Gave away three. One hundred dollars. All right. And what did we learn today, children? Oh, I'm sorry. What? You're not. Well, no, you bring up a good question. Who are you here. calling not a children? What? <laughs> we <laughs> oh, have been on kids today. What did we learn today, Santa Zell? <laughs> you always say well, this is like it being in a daycare, so of course we're like children. <laughs> right, we what can't did we learn today? Her. Well, I think a couple things. A lot of people aren't picking up their phones, so imagine if a realtor with the buyer is sitting in front of a home calling that realtor to go see it. That's not good. So, so be if you're in the business, be in the business 100%. Number two. Yeah, I don't care who's right. going to answer that phone. I don't Correct. care if it's your 10-year-old at home over Christmas holiday. Somebody needs to answer that yeah. phone. Be like somebody, the first lady. You I, would rather, the assistant. Right. I would rather talk to someone and they take my name and say someone's going to call you right back because I at least feel like I've connected with somebody yes, yes. than to get a voicemail. And then mm -hmm. the second thing in my mind we learned um, is what you said. Um, I forget which caller it was, but... We asked them what they had lined up for December, and they had like great things lined up, and the average p uh, person's checked out. Yeah, yeah, shut down and retooled till January. Right. Yeah. So you know, Which we're we doing had... a great show on that next week. Yeah, 
Yeah, we so we we actually had some great ideas come out of today's show. Yeah, and yep. Lisa didn't have to do anything. Right, this, this was a win for you. Uh, this, was, <laughs> this is our show format for twenty twenty three. This is how we're going people. forward. Let our customers do this. We'll shows. have to talk with prospectsplus.com because I don't know if they want to budget that much money. I mean, right. Normally it's only a hundred dollars per show, and you want to go three hundred. Are you pitching in for that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you got to turn that hat back in through blood. Through blood. <laughs> <laughs> Squeeze it out of my hand. That's okay. We don't need that. All right. <laughs> yeah. Well. Hope you've enjoyed our special Christmas show here of the Take a Listening Today podcast. And next week will be our New Year's show. What are we doing fun for that, Lisa? Oh, uh, we're talking more about the idea of waiting to market. Like e even in January, are you going to wait? And right. Um, no, actually, that's that show's coming up sooner than that. For New Year's, I don't know. It's going to be a big surprise. OK, good. Uh, big New surprise. Yeah. Beautiful. Fair enough. So Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, you guys. We'll see you again next week for the New Happy Year. Bye-bye. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs>